De Bruyne. Love it. He's a great player as well, De Bruyne is. Straight to Bernardo on that left-hand side. Swinging it in. Oh, oh, bad defending. Straight to Aguero. Ruben. Straight over the top, Foden. Nice knock on. Little dink. Little dink by Aguero again. Mbappe. Great striker. Great striker, Rafinha. What? Oh, Neymar. <laughs> I don't know, all cracking off there. Well done, Neymar. All right, Sarabia. Verratti, pretty high up for a uh, deep line playmaker. Straight to Keane on loan from Everton, I believe. And Rafina, nice. Easy. FC Mets, the underdogs of this league. Well, predicted about 15th. Did very, very well. And there's a goal for Aseka. Nice. Straight from the goalkeeper. Bulaya. Bulaya. It's going to do straight through the middle. Easy. Iseka. Of course it is. You love it when you get that close to the goalkeeper and you score like that. Corner. Wagner. Straight to Bron. Oh. Rebound. Bron again. Awesome. Hi everyone. Tucker Jobs and this is Tactic Testing. So this tactic here, as you can see the highlights, is the Obelisk 4-5-1 tactic by Zealot. So hopefully it all goes pretty great with all of the selected teams in the test. Stay tuned for the video. Right, welcome guys. So this is the Obelisk 4-5-1 version 1 tactic by Zealot. It's on the, uh, I believe, the FM Arena, I think. So uh, yeah, okay, this is the tactic and let's get on with the player instructions. So uh, for those of you that can't download, you can obviously use the tactic still because I do it with all of my videos. All right, so you guys, if you're wondering, you can still use them. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it. So advanced forward, shadow striker, winger left, winger right, central midfielder, defensive midfielder, not him, the position, there we go. Inverted wing back left, Inverted wing back right, central defender left, central defender right, and the sweeper keeper. Uh, set piece instructions, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right. Free kicks, defending right and left, and attacking left and right. Uh, a small chance shot, right and left, wide, left and right. And finally, deep, right and left. And finally, throwing instructions, defending right and left and attacking left and right yes it's the long throw-ins all right the deadly uh, so that's it for the set piece instructions and player instructions tactical styles custom obviously because it's been created uh, mentality is positive in possession fairly wide attacking width with play out of defense on the approach play uh, standard passing directness with a slightly high tempo low crosses and final third with work ball into box in transition counter press and counter uh, goalkeeper in possession to slow the pace down and to distribute to the flanks as well as to throw it long and then out of possession use offside trap in the defensive shape much higher line of engagement with the standard defensive line standard defensive width with extremely urgent press intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution and uh yeah the tackling there isn't a get stuck in instruction this time so uh, it's good to see that so yeah that's the tactic guys that is the best uh, 11 for this tactic apparently for man city uh, the other teams that are being used in this test is psg and fc mets obviously psg are a top team in that league very very top team in that league uh, so no doubt they are going to win the league it's going to happen you know it is uh, and then obviously the underdogs with fc mets that's their chosen 11 uh, also at the time of doing this video i had a comment uh, someone's obviously wanting uh, what would a tactic be like would this tactic work in league one and it just got me thinking i'll chuck in a few more teams after this video is done i'll show you results of another test uh, using the same tactic just different teams in the championship and also in League One in England, uh, just so you can see how the tactic does with the uh, lower teams of, in different divisions. So yeah, let's get on with it then, and I'll see you at the end of the season. Right then, welcome back. So let's start off in the Premier League with Man City. So he actually used Man City on the pitches um, on the FM arena of this tactic. Man City is one of the pitches or one of the teams being used uh, for the testing or who, who he was at the time. Um, and they finished first as well. And he actually finished first a little bit more convincingly than, uh, than, than what my test has given. So I don't know whose test you should follow, but 
regardless, they both finished first. Uh, only one point above Manchester United for Man City. Uh, seven losses and two drawn, 29 wins. And uh, obviously on his pictures, if you see it, obviously there's there's a link in the description to download the tactic. Um, but if you just search, obviously, the Obelisk 451 FM Arena, it will take you to the page where you can see other people's results using the tactic. Obviously, it was Sevilla as well when they came first. Uh, Leicester, they came first. Um, and then obviously Man City, they got like 100 and 104 points, something like that. So yeah, a little bit more convincing than what my results were given. But uh, you know what my results are like. One test, one go around. All right, a little bit relentless, a little bit unforgiving. And whatever it is, that's what it is. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the um, with the teams and players then. So unfortunately, not a lot of players actually got into the top player stats with the top threes, right? You got De Bruyne came third with average rating 7.37. And Edison on the clean sheets, 21. That is it. All right, you got no players in the yellow cards, which is a big plus, obviously. Um, but unfortunately, no one was outstanding enough to get on the goals, uh, assists, player of the matches. Um, so that's a little bit of a shame. I thought Aguero, obviously, I know he was injured at the start of the game. Um, so that might have hindered him. But if you actually go on goals, you've got Foden here was your highest goal scorer. I'm sure he probably would have played as the uh, shadow striker. Most of the time, yeah, attacking centre lot 37, 19, and 7. And he played as a midfielder three times. So, uh, yeah, your best for your biggest goal scorer being Foden. It's a little bit, it's a little bit worrying that you, that you, yeah, Sergio Aguero's there with 16. You understand he's injured, but you got no other player all the way until you got Jesus at the bottom right here with 10 goals. So, was it just a bad test individually when it comes to goal scoring, maybe? All right, so uh, no doubt that it will do absolutely fantastic with all the teams. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. It might have just been the case of uh, too much rotation for Man City and no one could actually pull off and get a lot of individual performance going on. So um, yeah, regardless, pretty good. So let's have a look at the competitions for Man City then. Runner-up of the Champions League. No, oh, no. Gutted. Uh, they lost 1-0 to Barcelona as well. Messi was awesome in that competition. 10 goals in the competition for Messi. Wicked. Uh, English FA Cup, they were the winners though there. So uh, they beat Wolves in the final, 2-0. And then Carabao Cup, they lost out in the fourth round against Southampton. That's a shame. You shouldn't really be losing against Southampton with the team that Man City have. Um, but again, all right, it can happen. Um, it's only a simulated test, remember, guys? And uh, yeah, so not too bad. They got a double. All right, the Premier Division and the FA Cup. Uh, it would have been nice. It would have topped off beautifully if they just won the Champions League as well. But that's an open competition at the end of the day. It's world-class teams and uh, anything can happen, really. So uh, let's have a look at the schedule then, some of the results. Ooh, let's have a look then. So Manchester United drew against them. Big results. Let's have a look at some big numbers. Tottenham, 5-0. Nice. All right, you beat Juventus 4-1 in friendlies. Uh, let's have a look. Salzburg, 3-0. Uh, he lost against Arsenal 2-0. That's a shame. Arsenal aren't very good. Uh, Chelsea 4-0. Nice result there. Liverpool, you lost against them. Uh, Tottenham again. You just smashed Tottenham all season. 5-1, 2-0. Uh, Marseille 3-2. Manchester United. All right, the blue side uh, of Manchester 1-4. Is that 4-0? 4-0. Oh, buttering. <laughs> uh, and then uh, yeah so some good results all around the table 5-0 uh, against Brighton Lazio 4-3 Wolves 4-2 uh, Lazio again 3-0 so yeah great results there let's have a look at the squad so not a lot of players I thought with you being champions obviously you uh, would have got some more players in the green average ratings but um, no not this time you got what 7 so yeah best player was De Bruyne obviously he is a fantastic player there's nothing wrong with De Bruyne there he's so good so good. I think you could probably play him as a striker and he'll do the job. So you won't know. You won't know. His passing ability is too important. So, uh, yeah, 13 goals and 18 assists for him. Overall competitions, Aguero was your highest goal scorer. Obviously, that's including cups and everything. So 31 goals and three. Uh, Foden with 20 and eight. And then 14, 14 and 13 for Laporte, Jesus and De Bruyne. So, yeah, that's incredible. Uh, assists then. A lot of assists here. Look, so you've got Silva, De Bruyne, uh, Mendy, Sterling, Zinchenko and Walker all getting 10 assists or more. So all double digits for those guys there so uh, yeah team report then let's have a look on an average you're pretty pretty spot on aren't you so uh, goals per game you're doing very well expected goals as well 0.61 conceded awesome uh shots per game over 16 so uh, yeah nice let's have a look at the uh analyst report scoring attacking efficiency 
aggressive and clinical, all right? You're pretty much bundled in there with Manchester United and Liverpool. Look how clinical these guys are, though. They might not be getting a lot of shots on, but they are clinical. Um, and then defensive efficiency. Let's have a look. Conceding. We are quiet and leaky. So, unfortunately, obviously, we're getting no... We're getting least shots against us compared to everyone else in the league. But they're just converting a bit too much. So, that's a shame. Uh, even though we've got the biggest clean sheets in there. So, all right. Uh, let's have a look at the stats then. So, overall, 144 goals scored, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with that. And then 40 conceded as well. So, that's not too bad. Um, so, yeah. Brilliant. Awesome. Let's go to PSG and FC Mets in League One. So, yeah, PSG, they come first. All right. It was always expected that they're going to come first. But FC Mets, they are the underdogs. They're predicted uh, 15th pretty much nearly. Basically, they're a mid to low team. Okay. And, uh, yeah, fourth place. Awesome. Uh, 70 points for them. 100 points for PSG. And, uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the top threes. Unfortunately, FC Mets did not get any players in the top threes. It was all PSG. Uh, Cardi, obviously, got first. Came 35 with, with 35 goals. Average rating. Uh, Neymar and Mbappe, 7.6, 1 and 2, 3. First and third. Neymar again on the assists. Uh, 17. And Neymar for player of the matches came first with 9. And Navas came first with... Uh, clean sheets with 25 clean sheets so awesome there so let's have a look at the competitions and so european champions cup well we know they didn't win because obviously barcelona won it uh, french cup though they were the winners and the trophy test champions winners as well in the final they went against leon 1-2-0 and the trophy test champions marseille won on penalties there so you got the treble for psg which is um yeah it would have been nice just to top, top it off with the Champions Cup, get the four. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't always happen like that. It's not always it's not always so kind to me, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, nice one for PSG. Some of the results then. There's going to be greens everywhere. There's going to be greens everywhere because the fact is PSG only lost two matches and only drawn four. Right, 100 points. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, let's have a look, see if any big results. Head-to-heads against, uh, well, we've seen Man City there. All right. They actually uh, lost against Man City, but we know that. Uh, FC Mets then. So the teams that are using the same tactics. FC Mets lost against them at the end of the season 2-0. And then they would have played each other at the start and lost 2-0 again. So yeah, PSG obviously got the better of it with this tactic. But they would do. All right, The team difference between those two is massive. Um, let's have a look at some of the other results. So you got 5-0, uh, Dijon 1-0, uh, FC Lorient 5-0, 4-0 against Monaco. Big result, Strasbourg 5-0, Prague 4-0, 6-0, 5-0, 8-0. <laughs> loads of goals, loads of goals. But you would do, it's PSG, you're in the French League. It's, um, it's, I think PSG can obviously showcase tactics massively as well because um, there's such a strong squad for that league. It's, it's theoretically hard not to win the league with PSG. I know obviously I've tried all the tactics with uh, Marseille, Lyon, uh, Monaco, and they end up winning, all right? And that's the whole point. Get a tactic in, beat PSG. It would have been, obviously, I probably should have, in a way, done a test with uh, with one of the other teams just to see if you can beat PSG. It's what I normally do. Don't matter. Don't matter. FC Mets showing you that. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah, some decent results there. Squad then. So, again, not a lot of people. I don't know. I've, I've actually read somewhere. Um, someone's obviously mentioned that the average ratings or the rating systems uh, seem a little bit bogus, really, because uh, they're not really showing how they should apparently be showing. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether to look too much into that anymore until it's sorted, if it even is broke. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that the average ratings somehow altered a little bit since uh, since the last update? So, uh, yeah, anyway, your best player overall competition, 7.49, was Neymar. 15 goals and 25 assists. Biggest goal scorers uh, in the team was Akadi and Bappe. Uh, Neymar and Rafinha all getting 10 or more. And obviously, Akadi in all competitions getting 47. Um, biggest greatest in your team, Neymar and Bappe and Rafinha are the only players that got over 10 or double digits on the um, assists. With uh, yeah, Neymar, 25. Bappe, Mbappe, 14. Lovely jubbly. So uh, let's have a look at the general performance on a whole. Yeah, it's going to look like that, isn't it? Definitely. <laughs> um, analyst report then. So scoring or attacking efficiency. Right up the top right here. And aggressive and clinical. And conceding. Um, yep, straight down here, look. You're not getting a lot of shots against you. Or a little bit 
on the uh, higher side on the conversion, but he's still in quiet and impenetrable. And overall stats, 146 goals with only 28 goals conceded. For PSG, 28 goals is nothing. Overall competitions, 57 games, 28 goals. Awesome. That's, that's, that's incredible. That's, that's absolutely... What a defensive wall for PSG, basically. Uh, so, yeah, well done. Let's go to um, FC Metz then. So, they are the underdogs. Um, fourth place is nothing nothing to feel bad about, is it, really? FC Metz are incredible. I know I've done tests before where FC Metz can come second, uh, third. I've done tests where, obviously, FC Lorient, Strasbourg, the Vaudon, fantastic. It just shows, obviously, that these tactics do work for the underdogs as well. So, hopefully, if you do download it, it's not be-all and end-all. Remember, guys, uh, these are just possibilities of the tactics. Sometimes it can do a lot worse, and sometimes uh, it can be a lot better for you. So, um, it's, not, it's not a definite it will happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't have a go at me. <laughs> let's have a look at the uh, competitions for fc Mets. and so they got to the 10th round of the french cup got knocked out by monaco uh schedule some of the big results if there is any big results uh four nil nice nice uh monaco the drew good result there the uh, angers four nil strasbourg three one uh, a lot of draws here near the end of the season uh, leon obviously lost uh, drew there to all i see lens three one decent result uh three nil two nil so yeah pretty good not as bad, obviously, not, not as many reds as I was thinking, but uh, quite a lot of draws, especially at the end of the season here. So, uh, yeah, squad then. Ooh, ooh, they, they finished uh, in a decent position, but only one player. So, uh, yeah, that's right. Can... And it's not even your player. So we're not even counting him. Not even counting him. Let's, let's get rid of him. So, yeah. Okay, an underdog team who comes fourth has no player over the average rating of seven no greens anywhere and you're telling me that nothing's wrong god gotta be somewhere there's gotta be somewhere up with the uh with the rating system definitely uh, but anyway <laughs> your best player 6.97 all right two goals so uh, yeah biggest goal scorers was Leia Aseka uh, with 20 and he was the only one who actually got double digits and goals biggest creators was uh, Wagner all right eight so yeah you finished in a decent position, but technically you wasn't great according to the average ratings and numbers. So uh, yeah, well done to FC Mets regardless. Let's have a look at the team report. So you're still actually above general uh, performance averages to the other parts of the league, obviously not including PSG. They were just amazing. And then um, let's have a look at the score and efficiency. You're still in aggressive and clinical. You might be a lot more down here, but for FC Mets to be bundled in with the same likes of Marseille uh, is... is good <laughs> uh conceding then uh yeah so we're still in quiet and impenetrable so that's what i don't get we're in the right zones we're in the right areas of right finish in the league yet we're not getting any players above seven uh, on the average ratings that's balmy uh, overall those stats um you scored 62 goals that is not a lot at all is it 62 oh so low but 31 goals conceded that is good all right, can, can you really forgive your team for only scoring 62 goals when a team like FC Mets only conceded 31? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You want to see some more goals, don't you? So, yeah, I'll leave that one up to you. And, um, yeah. So, like I said at the start of the video, um, I did obviously go to other teams. It's not on this uh, test, obviously, because I already started the test. So I did it again, and uh, we'll have a look at some of the teams from the Championship and League One using this tactic. So here we are. We're not going to go too much into the numbers with these teams. I'm just showing you the results. Uh, they all use the same tactic, all right? The obelisk, obviously. All right, that's the showcase tactic that we are doing for this video. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look in the Championship with the top team and pretty much middle team is uh, Brentford and Blackburn. And they both got promoted first and second absolutely incredible brentford were unbeaten unbeaten brentford they are predicted third i believe uh, so to come first and become unbeaten is insane 114 points is a massive massive amount of points and then we've got uh, armstrong and tony obviously both strikers for both teams coming first and second with armstrong 35 goals so yeah pace is massive 
Um, Armstrong's obviously a very fast striker for Blackburn and for this league. So, yeah, they did an incredible average rate. And you got Godos there. Uh, Godos again, player of the matches with Armstrong. First and third with their 11 and 9. And uh, Raya or Raya, uh, clean sheets. Brentford goalkeeper with 33. 33 out of 46 games for Brentford. He did not concede a goal. <laughs> Mad. Mad. Awesome results there. So let's go down to League One with Wimbledon and Sunderland. All right, they're pretty much the top dog and small dog. Uh, underdog again for the League One. Sunderland got promoted. It's expected. They're a great, great team in that league. Uh, lost five times, 101 points. So they're far, uh, far outpointed. If you yeah, uh, then Portsmouth who came second, and unfortunately Wimbledon just missed that. They just missed that, and uh, that's a shame. It's a shame, really. All right, they didn't uh, even get to the playoffs, uh, the playoff final, uh, I believe. Sorry, uh, they lost five four. Unfortunately, tips were chips, which are a great team, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's a shame, but uh, it just shows it did well. At the end of the day, Wimbledon were pretty much, I believe. A relegation team. Yeah, of course they were. 23rd. They were predicted to come 23rd. Second to bottom. And uh, they came 6th. So you can't moan at that whatsoever. Uh, Sunderland, Wimbledon did fantastic. And um, yeah, for Sunderland, you got a couple of players in the top uh, rankings. Obviously, you got Maguire coming second with average rating. Maguire again on assists with 14. Maguire again came first with nine player of the matches. And then Burge, the uh, goalkeeper for Sunderland, got 22 clean sheets uh, and came first there. So that is the tactic. That is the obelisk, guys. 451 off FM Arena by Zealot. So hopefully, if you do download it, it does absolutely incredible for you. Let us know in the comments how it is doing and how uh, the results have gone for you. So obviously, all the people can see. Because um, it's not just about me doing the test, me doing the simulated test. All right, a lot of people want to know how playing through as well. Because I can't, I can't do, can't do it all. Can't do it all, guys. So uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any more content. And uh, yeah, have a great save, everyone. This is Tucker Jobs. See you later. Bye.